Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to implement a Jenkins pipeline which will perform the npm build and the download and upload of the npm packages from or to Nexus repository. This project is described in this diagram. In this, we will save our source code in the GitHub project. So, as part of the pipeline, this will check out the source code and it will perform the npm build. During the build, if it depends on any npm packages, those will be downloaded from Nexus repository and as part of the npm build, it will generate a package and those packages will be uploaded to Nexus repository. All these operations will be implemented as part of the different steps in the Jenkins pipeline. This pipeline will be declarative. So, let us start the demo and write the pipeline for doing all these activities. So, as part of the implementation, these are the steps we will be performing in this demo. First of all, we will check out the source code from GitHub to Jenkins agent via the pipeline. Then, we will install the npm client in the Jenkins agent so that we can perform npm builds in the Jenkins agent. So, then we need some authentication information to connect to the Nexus repositories. So, that authentication information will be created as npm configuration files and then we will use the npm configuration information for performing the npm install and finally, we will perform npm publish using the same config information. So, let us perform these steps one by one. Let us start creating the pipeline now. Here, I am giving the name as npm demo and this should be pipeline. Click on OK. We can provide the description here. We can keep other options as default and select pipeline here. There are two ways we can write the pipeline. We can write the pipeline directly here or we can keep the Jenkins file within the version control like GitHub repository. For this, let us write the pipeline here itself. Here we are choosing declarative pipeline. First, we need to specify on which agent we are running the pipeline. So, we need to specify the label of the agent. For this agent, the label is Agent Linux. Next, we need to declare the stages here. The first stage is checkout. In this stage, we will check out the code which is present in the Git repository. This is the example repository which contains the minimal code for npm. Here, we have two files package.json and hello.js. This contains a dependency called express. And this should be downloaded from Nexus repository. And we build the artifact. The artifact should be published to this registry. So, this hello.js contains the code. When we run this, it will print example app listening on port 3000. And this depends on Express package. So, in the first stage, we need to check out this code. And we have already seen how to check out the code via HTTPS or SSH in one of the previous videos. You can check the same in the description. Here I am choosing HTTPS and the branch is main. And for the credentials, I have already created credentials in the previous video. So we are using the same credential. And let us generate the pipeline script. So this step should be copied to the pipeline. And in addition to that, we also need to mention steps here. And we need to keep this command in the steps. So, let us save it and execute. So, now the build is executed. You can see the console output and the checkout is happened successfully. This is the Linux VM. We will install Node.js in this machine. When we install Node.js, npm client will be installed as well. This is the downloads page of Node.js. Here, there is a link for installing Node.js. Let us open this. These are all the instructions for installing. Let us copy these commands into a notepad. Here I have changed the version. We need to select corresponding version based on the operating system. Here we need to create this directory and we will copy this binary file into that directory and unarchive that. So, we need to download this binary installer file. For that, let us copy this link. Here we are using the version variable here and the distribution. So, let us execute these commands. The directory is created. Let us unarchive the file. So, before that, we need to download it. The file is downloaded. Let us execute the tar command now. Now it is unarchived. Let us go into the Node.js directory. So, we can go inside this directory. Here we have a bin directory. This needs to be included in the system path. So, let us copy these lines and we will put in the dot profile file. So, let me open dot profile file now. 
and let us copy those lines at the end of the file. Let us save this file. The file is saved now. Let us execute the dot profile now. Let us verify the path. Now we can see that the Node.js path is present in the system path. Let us verify the Node.js and npm client version. So this is the version of Node.js and this is the version of npm client. So the npm client installation is ready in the Jenkins agent. So now we have completed the checkout of the source code to the Jenkins agent and also we have installed the npm client in the Jenkins agent. In the next is we need to perform the npm build. So when we perform the npm build, the download of the npm dependencies should be done from Nexus group repository. When we perform the upload of the artifact, that should be done in the Nexus host registry. In the previous videos, uh, we have already created the host repository, the group repository and proxy repository. So these are the three repositories which we have created earlier. The proxy repository, host repository and group repository. So for the download, we should use this group repository and for the upload, we should use this host repository. And also we have created a new role here, npm read write role. So for that we have given the browse permission, read permission for the group repository and for the host repository we have provided edit permission so that the user which is having this role can both upload as well as download from these corresponding repositories. Let us create a new user in Nexus here. Here I am providing some details. Let us make the status as active and here we need to assign the read write role for this user. So when we want to use the credentials via npm client, we need to create a configuration file. So that file should contain this authentication information. In the previous video, we have seen how to upload as well as download from the command line. Please go through the video in the description section. So now we will create the configuration file so that we can use the configuration file directly in the pipeline. So for creating the configuration file, uh, I am choosing the agent machine. We can choose any machine where we have npm client installed. So for that we need to use npm login and we need to specify the registry here. So for the registry, so we need to get authentication for both the repositories like the group repository and hosted repository. So first I am choosing group repository here and here I am changing local host with the actual IP address and also the port corresponding to Nexus. Here I am using the virtual box uh, port forward. So actually I need to use the actual IP address of the Nexus VM and the port. And this is the IP address and this is the port. So let us try to log into this registry. And we need to provide the username here. So the user is Nexus Read Write user. And we need to provide the password as well. The user is logged in. We can see that a configuration file should be created now. Let us verify that. So this is the configuration file which is created in the home directory. And this contains the entry for the group repository and corresponding authentication token. Similarly, let us log in for host repository as well. We are providing the same username and password. The login for this repository is also successful and we can verify the configuration file again. So now this configuration file contains two entries for both the repositories. So this configuration file we will use in the Jenkins pipeline. Let us copy this information in a file and upload this information as a secret file inside Jenkins. So I am saving this file in a desktop. So now in Jenkins let us create a credentials and upload this file. Click on manage Jenkins and click on credentials. Let us click on global domain here and add credentials. So this should be a secret file here and scope is global. Then choose this file and we can provide the ID and description for these credentials and let us create the credentials. So now we have the new credentials which contains the authentication information for connecting to Nexus and we need to use these credentials in the pipeline. Now let us go back to the pipeline. Here we need to add a new stage for the npm build. Let us add step section here. Here we need to specify the steps for npm build. As part of this we need to use the secrets file which contains the configuration. So for that let us click on pipeline syntax. 
So here we need to use with credentials. Here we need to add the bindings. So the binding should contain the secret file. We can provide any variable here. I am giving my npm rc and the credential should be the file whatever we have uploaded earlier. So with this let us generate the pipeline script and let us copy this in our pipeline and we can remove this hyphen for the variable. Now we need to execute npm install command here. So let us specify user config. Using this option we can specify the content of the custom configuration file. Here the config content will be referred by the value of this variable. And we need to specify the group repository here so that the dependency will be downloaded from the group repository. So for that we need to use registry option and also here we can specify the log level option. Here we are specifying as verbose so that we can see the location from where the packages will be downloaded. So we can place enter command as part of sh step. So let us save this configuration and execute the build. So the build is failed. Here we can see the console output. So this is the error. So let us verify the configuration. So the option is user config. There is no iPhone here. Let us save the configuration and execute again. Now the build failed again. It is failing while downloading the express package with an error 403 forbidden. So that means whatever role we have assigned to the user may not have proper permission. So let us go to the roles here. Okay, here we have uh, selected wrong permissions like uh, with admin. So we have to select view permissions. So let us add group repository read permission and group repository browse permission and hosted repository edit permission. And we can remove these admin permissions. So these three are sufficient. Let us execute the build again. So now we can see that all the dependencies are getting downloaded from the Nexus group repository. Here we can see that all the packages are downloaded and the installation is successful. Now we can publish the build package to the host repository. So for that again change the configuration of the job. So let me add a new stage here. Let us add step section here. And we can copy this configuration. Instead of npm build, let us provide publish here. And instead of npm install, let us provide publish. So for publish, we do not need this option. We can save the configuration and execute the build again. So here we can see that there is an npm error. This command requires you to be logged into this repository. So that means there might be an issue with the repository URL. So this repository URL we have specified in the published configuration in the package.json. So here we need to add a slash at the end of this repository. Let us change this file. I am adding a slash here and commit the changes. So let us execute the build again. Now we can see that the package is successfully published to the Nexus hosted repository. We can verify the package. Here we can see the package which is uploaded just now. So this way we can perform npm builds from the Jenkins pipeline. So in this video we have seen how to perform npm builds which downloads the required dependencies from the Nexus repository and upload the npm build packages to the Nexus hosted repositories. I hope this video helps. Thanks a lot for watching.